Welcome everyone to another episode of ReaperCast. Today we're going to be talking about a few new cards here. Definitely very interesting because we actually have Gizmex, but this time it's actually an archetype. So that is definitely really awesome, really happy about this. So yeah, I can't actually wait for this. So with that being said, let's just actually uh, go over all these cards. So to begin here, we have Gizmek Inaba, a wind machine effect monster, level 1, 50 attack and defense. That's kind of weird, isn't it, right? Only 50 attack and defense. Not 500, but 50. That's insane. The second effects can only be used once per turn. First effect, when this card is normal summon, you could special summon one machine monster from your hand, whose attack equals its own defense in defense position. I already feel like this is going to be applying mostly to the Gizmex only. Second effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard, then target one machine monster you control whose attack equals its own defense. For the rest of this turn, you cannot declare attacks except with that monster. Also, its attack and defense become the total original attack of all machine monsters you currently control whose attack equals their own defense. It's not bad, it's a little card that allows you to go for extensions but at the same time build up on attack, but overall, not particularly too amazing, maybe the synergy of the other cards will actually be better. The next card we have here is Gizmek Naganaki, Light Machine Effect Monster, 950 attack and defense, very interesting stats. First and second effects can only be used once per turn each. First effect, you contribute one machine monster whose attack equals its own defense. Special summon a machine monster from its deck that has the same attack and defense, but with a lower level than the tributed monster. So again, just a great way to extend and I guess uh, push out cards from your deck. Second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one of your face down banished machine monsters who has attacks equals its own defense to your hand. So again, it's kind of following that theme, which I do actually like the consistency at least. The next card we have here is Gizmek Taniguku, Earth Machine Effect Monster. So I do like to see that there's actually variety in the different attributes at least. So that's definitely very nice. We started with Wind, then we moved on to Light. Now we're moving on to Earth. This one here is a level 3 and it has 1450 attack and defense. Of course, first and second effects can only be used once per turn each. First effect, if this card is summoned in any way, you could place one machine monster from your deck whose attack equals its own defense on the top of your deck. Not too bad, but not the most amazing. Second effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard, then target one machine in your graveyard whose attack and defense are equal and special summon it in defense. That's a little bit better because it allows you to actually extend your plays by bringing out more monsters. Now the interesting thing I find about these Gizmex is that they don't actually have the same levels, meaning it's most likely that you're summoning these extra Gizmex or being able to extend by special summoning more is to actually just allow you to go for link plays and not so much a synchro or XEs play. The next card we have here is Gizmek Ibuki. You guys already guessed it. It's a level 4 with 1850 attack and defense. It's a water machine effect monster and the first and second effects can only be used once per turn each. First effect, if you control a machine monster with the same stats, you could special summon this card from your hand. Very easy to summon, very nice, not too bad at all. Second effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard then target one machine monster you control whose attack equals its own defense. Send one machine with the same stats but with lower level than the targets from your deck to the graveyard and if you do that target gains attack and defense equal to the sent monsters level times 100. Not particularly the most amazing, I think the first effect is a bit better. However, now we're moving here to a bit of a different card. It's actually a field spell. This is called Gizmek Legend. Very interesting. You can only use the first effects once per turn, but there are a total of three different effects, which I definitely love in field spells to actually have good variety and be quite a plentiful kind of card to actually play out. First effect during your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do, you can add one excavated machine monster whose attack equals its defense to your hand, also banish the rest face down. Not too bad, just a great way to search out the cards you need. Second effect, each time a machine monster whose attack and defense are equal, is normal or special summoned, place one counter on this card. Okay, so we're building up to something. Third effect, monsters on a field whose attack does not equal its own defense cannot activate their effects while this card has 10 or more counters. Alright, that's actually pretty amazing because if you're building up on this, 
You know what that means, right? I mean, you pretty much get to lock out your entire opponent's board, meaning your opponent's actually just playing a bunch of vanillas. That's an amazing card, so I actually really like this so far, because I'll be honest with you guys, the previous Gizmec monsters that we just went over, they weren't too impressive. Sure, they had a bit of extension plays, but they didn't actually have kind of like a deck viability to them. They seem more like cards I'd splash into a deck. And even then, you can't really splash them into a deck because they actually focus on having monsters with the exact same stats. So with that being said, they are mainly built to actually... Uh, well, play together as an actual proper pure deck this time. And with this field spell, it does help them out. I was actually kind of uh, disappointed with the monsters, to be honest, because of the fact that while they did have extensions, they were ultimately kind of lackluster. Seeing this here, on the other hand, the field spell, this card alone actually just makes the deck amazing. Getting a negate is just something else. However, next here we actually have this whole Sushi archetype, which is very interesting because it's literally artwork of Sushi, and we actually have the first card right here. It's called Rice Suship, Fire Aqua Normal Monster, level 4, 2000 attack, 0 defense. It's really interesting. Um, the artwork is... I mean, you guys could actually just see it right in front. So, yeah, definitely really weird. I guess I'll try and read up the flavor text and I don't know see if we could actually pick up anything out of this like what this deck is meant to be about. In a certain sous ship port in which I've been interested for a while there is a rice sous ship of which only 2000 vessels a year are produced with a self-developed old rice that is not too sticky with a profound taste that cannot be enjoyed in any other ports of which many critics have heavily acclaimed. The interior of the harbour is of high status, making one's heart beat with excitement. As for the sword after sous ship, despite the vinegar concentration, grasping technique and modelling worthy of a craftsman, there was still something that wasn't quite right, wasn't quite there. Thus, the store owner speaks, a red vinegar made in Edo front that will add a mellow and rich fragrance will be arriving to the port in the upcoming days. And from hearing that, I'm looking forward to this addition. It is unfortunate that the surrounding sea area was somewhat noisy. It is with great expectation of a future visit that I am grading it with 4 stars. So definitely very interesting, that was kind of telling us a story to be honest, and I do like that. So normal monsters have definitely been improving on their flavour text, that's for sure. However, over here we have Ro Suship, Fire Aqua Effect Monster, level 4, 200 attack, 300 defense. So, low stats and <laughs> very interesting artwork. I mean, just based off the artwork alone, I might actually just want to build the deck. You can only special summon the way of this card's name's first effect once per turn. You can only use this card's name's second effect once per turn. First effect, if you control Rice Suship, you can special summon this card from your hand. So already preparing us to go for an XE summon, I'm guessing. Second effect, during your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, you can add to your hand or special summon one excavated Rice Sioux ship. Also shuffle the rest back into the deck. Very interesting, but so far, I'm also just keen on the artwork. However, here we actually do have a, an XE's monster. So we have... Dreadnought Sioux Ship, Row Class First War Dish, Fire Aqua XE's Effect Monster, Rank 4, 2200 Attack, 300 Defense. Requires two level 4 monsters, so it's actually generic. First Effect can only be used once per turn. If this card is XE summoned, you could apply one of these effects based on the monsters used as material. So if you used Rice Sioux Ship, then you get to draw one card. If you used Row Sioux Ship, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Not too bad at all. Second effect, once per turn when your Sioux Ship monster special summoned from the extra deck inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card they control and destroy it. Very interesting, not particularly the most amazing, but it does set up as a 
I guess an initial boss monster, right? It's not too bad. But I am just all for this artwork, it's absolutely amazing. Next here we have a spell support, for actually a field spell, very nice. It's called Su Ship Galley Kaisen. Once per turn, if you summon a Su Ship monster even during the damage step, you could place one Su Ship card from your deck on the top of your deck. Alright, so kind of preparing us for the next turn. Second effect, once per turn, if your Su Ship monster special summon from the extra deck is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, your opponent must pay life points equal to its defense. Then you could special summon one Rice Su Ship from your hand, and if you do immediately after this effect resolves, XE summon one Su Ship XE's monster using only that monster as material. Not bad, just a great recovery card, but I wouldn't say the most overwhelming of things. And finally, we have a trap card here, Su Ship Roll Specials. When you activate this card, you can also reveal one Rice Su Ship from your hand. First effect. Reveal three Su Ship monsters from your deck. Your opponent picks one of them to add to your hand. The rest get shuffled back. If you revealed a Rice Su Ship when you activated this card, you choose instead. Second effect, if this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card, then target three Su Ship monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them into your deck, and then draw one card. So obviously this is definitely going to be very exciting, it's more so about the artwork and the theme of it, rather than the actual effects of itself. Because honestly, these effects are really lackluster, both the Gizmex and the Su Ships. But you know what, I am all for it with the Su Ships, the artwork is just really amazing. The Gizmec, not so much, I don't really think I am very interested with it. As great as the field spell can be, I just don't see it to be the most amazing thing. However, with that being said, this particular, well, both these particular archetypes, the Gizmex and the Su Ships, are actually going to be in the same set as the Magic Keys, which is definitely going to be very exciting, of course, because Magic Keys, I do see it as one of those top tier decks, but we actually have the Su Ships as well as the Gizmex, which I see to be more so rogue or casual decks that will be introduced in this same set as the magic keys that we talked about yesterday however we do have one quick card i actually want to talk about as well and that is refined ritual art so it's a new card here that's kind of supporting the well i guess it's supporting the uh, magic key archetype from yesterday that we talked about which is also coming out in this exact same set which, by the way, this entire set itself is going to be called Dawn of Majesty. So we're going to get Magic Keys, we're going to get uh, Su Ships, and we're going to get Gizmex. Definitely very interesting that it's been revealed this early, but hey, I have no complaints about that at all. So Refined Ritual Art is a ritual spell card, and this card is used to ritual summon any one ritual monster, and you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Ritual summon one ritual monster from your deck by tributing normal monsters in your hand whose total levels equal exactly the level of the monster you ritual summon. Shuffle the special summon monster into the deck during your opponent's end phase. Definitely very interesting because I guess it's generic enough that you might want to play it to help you out, but at the same time it does have its certain conditions. Now if you play this with the magic keys, keep in mind the magic key ritual monsters are actually tuna monsters, which means you could potentially go for some further plays with it to extend. So this card isn't too bad at all because it does synergize with one of the archetypes from this particular set. However, with that being said, that's pretty much it for what we're going to be talking about today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely drop a like and also share this video. It really helps. Tell me your thoughts. What do you guys think about this? We technically have been revealed all three archetypes for this brand new set, Dawn of Majesty, and it's definitely very exciting. I like the Magic Keys the most. It's actually far superior than the uh, Doremi Chords, but at the same time, I also think that the Su Ships have a really amazing artwork that makes it really fun. And don't forget the Gizmex as well with their field spell that actually just pretty much completely negates the entire board on your opponent's side, which is absolutely amazing. However, with that being said, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.